The following news, rumors, headlines on the WWE Buffet that will serve up everything WWE to you will be including the following. Ronda Rousey, The Super Showdown, SmackDown, Samoa Joe, the WWE title, AJ Styles, and much more on the Brash and Brazen, Sean's View Entertainment, even on my 30th birthday, September the 22, 2018. I am here for you. If you want to support the channel, if you want to thrive and survive and support what you think and how you think about Sean's View, share, subscribe, and refresh my channel multiple times a day. On this week's episode of SmackDown Live, it was teased that there would be a no disqualification, no countout stipulation added to the WWE Championship match between Samoa Joe and AJ Styles at Super Showdown. SmackDown Live's general manager Paige said on Twitter that the stipulation will be official and made official this coming Tuesday's episode on SmackDown Live when Styles and Joe will meet in the ring for a contract signing showdown. The WWE Championship Stipulation on Super Showdown will be made official this month, this Tuesday on SmackDown Live. The latest Raw preview on WWE.com is teasing a confrontation between Nia Jax and Alexa Bliss. The preview says, It's been a while since Nia and Alexa have mixed it up, though it's safe to say the irresistible force hasn't forgotten the money of being cash in that snapped her Raw Women's title reign. Alexa then has a lot to answer for and not a lot of time to figure out how. So it looks like Alexa Bliss will be on Raw this Monday night, a sign that her arm injury is not going to keep her out of action for an extended amount of time. And thank God for that because the WWE can't afford to lose more talents, more guys, and more girls. This week... There was a rumor going around about UFC's Chris Cyborg going to WWE for a match against the ruthless, rowdy Ronda Rousey at WrestleMania in 2019. How clear, how real, how significant is that news? Well, according to the dirt sheets and the websites, and remember to refresh, share, and subscribe to this very channel, I have the brand new official Sean's UN merchandise line out right now. It looks like there is no smoke to the story because, as reported by the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, one person in WWE who would be in the loop on this has said the idea of a match with Ronda Rousey and Cyborg has never been brought up to Rousey. The match would never happen with her appro- without, without her approval, and the feeling is that she wouldn't want to do it. Stone Cold Steve Austin is going to be involved in a championship match at the showdown event when Shawn Michaels and Triple H team up to to go against The Undertaker and Kane in a mega tag team match, DX versus the Brothers of Destruction and Stone Cold Steve Austin, listen to this one, will serve as the special acting referee. Can you imagine the beer? Can you imagine the middle fingers? Can you imagine the stunners? The Attitude Era will be in this match all at the same time. When was the last time you can remember that Austin, Michaels, Triple H, Kane, and The Undertaker were all in the same ring at the same time? Viewers and subscribers, we have run out of time today. This is my 30th birthday. Share and subscribe. Your comments and your opinions on all the rumors, the news, and headlines in WWE. What do you think about Cyborg and Ronda Rousey? What do you think about what will be the stipulation between AJ Styles and Samoa Joe? And what is going to happen when Stone Cold Steve Austin officiates this tag team match when DX meets the Brothers of Destruction? You never know the flow and exactly what is going to go down Supreme, subscribe, the prolific, consistent, and dedicated brash. Sean's View Entertainment, always working around the clock. Very, very crucial. Very, very important to my future to share my videos, refresh my channel multiple times a day, hit that refresh button, turn that bell on, turn on all notifications. What are your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions? And what about the negative fan backlash 
to Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose, excuse me, Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns during a recent autograph signing where one fan said they were complete you-know-whats. I don't know. Your comments and your opinions on the 30th birthday of the brash and brazen Sean Van Damon. I will never be mistaken or overtaken to keep it prolific, consistent, and dedicated.